keep us children safe. Having to stop for a red flashing light on a school bus is not a new thing. This has always been the law. And to drive that point home, Cindy Detling, a bus driver for School District 60, has introduced an awareness campaign called Safe Stop. The whole purpose of Safe Stop is to remind motorists that it's against the law to drive through the flashing red lights of the school bus. Every time you do that, you're putting a child's life at risk. The law is if you see a school bus with its yellow lights flashing, that's a warning that the bus will be stopping. So slow down and be prepared to stop. As soon as you see the red flashing lights on the school bus, that means the bus is stopped and children will be getting on or off the bus. Please don't make the assumption that the students will be getting off the bus and going directly into the driveway off to the right. Many times the students are crossing in front of the bus and across two lanes of traffic. It may not be illegal to pass the bus when it's safe, when the yellow lights are flashing, but it's not recommended. And it's definitely not safe. Yellow means slow down and take care. It's like the, a stale yellow light when you're going in town. You see a light that's yellow, you know it's going to turn red. It could turn red that second and a kid, you know, maybe it's a kindergarten kid, steps out, they're eager. You don't want to take the chance. Take Cindy's word for it. She's a very experienced driver and has been at the helm of district school buses for a long time. I started driving school bus 35 years ago. Um, it was, I haven't been driving that entire time, but I've had a lot of years behind the wheel. Over those years, students and their safety have been priority for Cindy, and she wants to make sure people understand that being reckless on the road and putting children at risk is something she won't stand for. There's lots of other issues that we deal with, like you know, speeding through school zones and that kind of thing, but the biggest thing is people running our lights. I mean, when you're doing 90 kilometers an hour and someone steps out in front of you, there's not much of a chance of survival. The biggest thing that we need to do is educate people. Um, not stopping, there's no excuse for that. We've all taken it on our tests. Doesn't matter how many years ago, we know the rules and uh, a lot of people need to be reminded. I'm a mom of three kids. My kids take the bus every day and I think that Safe Stop is a super important program because too many people aren't safe and careful and think that they can just blow past a bus and that nothing's gonna happen to our kids and it's only a matter of time before something does. Please stop when the red light flashes. The goal of Safe Stop is to keep our kids safe. School District Transportation Supervisor Mike Fitzgerald says that there will be cameras placed on some of the school buses by next school year, trying to catch offending drivers in the act. Hi guys. Although cameras may help, it's up to the drivers of the area to pay attention to the Safe Stop campaign and be safe on the roads for the sake of the next generation. So remember, stopping in both directions is not an option when the red light is flashing on the school bus. It's the law. For Go Peace Country, I'm Diane Townsend.